pacea Domnului Isus și vis, vis of God, brothers and sisters, I am Daniel, and now I want to share with you uh, some updates about uh, Ukraine. I am returning now from Ukraine and together with my wife, we've been in Ukraine to uh, share, to give humanitarian help for the Ukrainians and uh, we want to share with you some uh, information about uh, what is the situation there my brother and sisters first of all I want to tell you that this is very serious thing because when we cross the border they ask us to write a name and the phone number from someone from our relatives. Uh, in the case we will be killed there, they will need to have that reference person in order to call that person and to inform that person that we are disappeared or we are killed by Russians. And even though we we still entered in Ukraine, because uh, we believe in God protection, and, uh, brothers that uh, give up, give us the location told me the good uh, road in order to go to Kivia, but I forgot the good road. And I base it on uh, phone GPS. And the good road was 160 kilometers. The bad road that it showed me on GPS was 80 kilometers. Uh, I was I, I chose this road 80 kilometers because I forgot uh, what the brother told me about the good road. And it was a very 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 bad road. I'll put some videos now. Uh, it seems like it almost seems that it, it is, was bombarded. It was not bombarded, but it was a very good, a very bad road. Uh, we almost crashed the car. We almost uh, break the car in this bad, bad road. But, but with the help of God, we've made very very hard but we've made to to reach the destination we needed to go from the field in the fields in the in the fields no road just country roads in order to reach Kilia the the city that we needed to unload the pack the car my brothers we speak with that pastor when we reached the destination. We took the dinner to his house with his family. And I asked him more information about what is happening there. Because when we were there on the table to eat, we, we heard a sound, a powerful sound. We asked, asked him and my wife, my wife also asked him. What is this? And he says, this is the sound of alarm. Uh, when you hear this sound, uh, Russian trigger another racket. And we ask, and where, where this racket will go? And they say, you don't know. It can be here, it can be there, it can be farther. You don't know. Uh, every moment, you have the chance to die. Every moment you have, every moment when you hear the sound of the alarm, you have the chance to die. He said, maybe they will not have the guts to attack us because we are at the border with Romania. But you are not sure. When you hear the sound of the alarm, you think that it is possible in the next minutes to uh, your, your house to explode and for you to cross 
from this life to another life. And uh, it was, this was a powerful experience that we see uh, men that are preparing to meet God in every moment. And uh, my brothers, uh, I don't know if the risk was bad, was was high or was low. Uh, we 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 cross an uh, uh, area where it's not war now, and that's why we says we are protected. But. It is not like that. You can go in a peace area and uh, rush and to attack this area while you are there. And it is dangerous. That that's why they took us the phone on the on the border. Uh, in the time when uh, we've been in Ukraine, uh, we cross at least six or seven military checkpoints uh, people with guns people with, with big guns uh, stop us and search the car in order to be sure that uh, we are not uh, hiding Russians in the car in order to uh, to be sure that we are not hiding uh, guns in the car uh, we let them to search everything and uh, we also meet some soldiers uh, on the road and uh, I encourage them to stay strong and to believe in God and we, we did a picture together we are uh, heading home, come back home now and we are thanking God for his protection that we are still alive and uh, my wife says, Daniel, if God will want us to die, uh, we can die in Romania, in, in a car accident. We, we can die on the street, we can die on a heart attack. Uh, not necessary that you will go there in Ukraine, you, you will die because you are in a uh, war country. You can die everywhere. And this is true. That's why we need to come closer to God and to have a deeper relation with Him in order to be prepared. Thank you for hearing this video. God bless you, Eddie, and God bless you, uh, everyone who watch this video.